Hello, my name is Rasheen and I'm sick of reading. Hello friends, I am coming to you from my conservatory today because it is raining and that meant it was too dark in the rest of my house to film. So I have come down into my conservatory <laughs> to film. The only problem with that is that the rain is loudest in here, obviously. Um, so hopefully that will be just a nice relaxing background sound, even the thunder. Today I am coming to you with a tag video. It has been a long time since I have done a tag video, but I saw this one about, I can't remember entirely where, I will leave some in the description, and it, look, and it looked like fun. This is the Unpopular Opinions book tag, a chance to be rude about books and see if anyone will get outraged. I'm, I'm joking, of course. I would say I am pretty picky about the sort of things that I read and the media I consume more generally, uh, but, if you like any of these books that I don't like, that is great. I am glad you have found something that you enjoy. I also wanted to add, as a little side note, that I will be leaving uh, information in my description in relation to uh, the Black Lives Matter movement and racism and white supremacy more generally. I feel like it is still important to be um, leaving resources to these in my video descriptions um, and just everywhere. And the stuff in my description today will be different than what was in my descriptions in the past videos, so there will be new stuff there. So if you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more book reviews and recommendations. Repeating with the rain, but question number one is a popular book or series that you didn't like. Um, I mean, there are quite a lot of popular series that I didn't like, um, but I think those series tend to be more Marmite than just straight up loved anyway. I tend to accidentally fall on the side of book snobs quite a lot because I don't generally read YA or genre fiction. Um, and so it would be easy to choose something like Twilight or Divergent because although those books are really popular, they are quite critically panned. So it doesn't take a lot of imagination to say that you don't like those books. I mean, lo I mean loads of people shit on them without having ever actually opened one. So. But the book that I am going to go for is The Sympathizer by Viet Thanh Nguyen. This might not have the commercial success of something like The Hunger Games, but it did win a Pulitzer Prize. So I think that counts as a popular book that I didn't like. Uh, the Sympathizer is a book about a man in, who is from North Vietnam fighting in the War of American Aggression, uh, as they call it in Vietnam. And he uh, ends up going back to the USA as a spy and then he ends up back in Thailand as well. And he also goes to the Philippines to work with the director who's filming a movie about Vietnam a la Platoon. Uh, so far so good. Um, I think the book did a really good job of satirising American exceptionalism um, and of not and of also talking about the um, brutalities of uh, the North Vietnamese re regime after, um, for political dissenters. I really thought the bits about film and how Americans portrayed the Vietnam War on film was really well done. The thing that the reason that I don't like this book is the incredible sexism and objectification of women inherent in this novel. All of the women in the novel, except for one old lady, have no characteristics beyond tits and legs. He even talks about his own mother's boobs and vagina as, as something he's attracted to. And also there's a weird masturbatory scene with a squid. There is violence against women in this book but it is used so objectifyingly and voyeuristically, it is only used to further the male character's progression in the book, it's Game of Thrones level of misogyny. Number two is a book or series you loved that everyone else hated. Um, I mean, most of the books I like, a lot of people don't like, uh, or people in general don't like. I tend to like man booker winners, which often get a lot of people um, really don't like them. One that came to mind is Wuthering Heights. Um, I really, really love Wuthering Heights, and obviously it's a classic. Loads of people love Wuthering Heights, so it's not that rare, but I do hear a lot of people being like, why is this a classic? I don't get it. And they just don't like the book. Um, some people don't like it because they need to uh, like characters or be on the side of characters in order to read the book. And if that is you, sorry, it's really raining, isn't it? So if that is you and you need to like characters in order to like a book, then yes, Wuthering Heights will not be for you. But I think some people don't like it because potentially it's missold to them. Um, so they think it's a romance and they're gonna go into it um, and it's gonna be like a Jane Austen style romance, but on the moors, or it's gonna be like 
uh, wild bad boy romance, like Twilight kind of situation. And you end up with Kathy and Heathcliff, two like selfish, violent characters who just have really enjoy being cruel to other people. Uh, and you're like, what is that? What am I reading right now? It's the difference between like capital R romantic, like the romantic movement and lowercase r romantic, like love and romance. It's a novel about the beauty of nature and the wildness inherent within all of our souls. It's about how close we are to not being um, civilised and about uh, the nature of inherited trauma and racism. It's a book about hurt people hurting people and about hypocrisy, especially religious hypocrisy. So a lot of people might not pick it up if they knew what it was actually and also if they um, or they might come into it with a different mind frame if they knew, in a different mindset if they knew that. Some people might know all of that and not need to like characters and still not like it and that is valid too. Number three is a love triangle where the person ended up with the wrong person. Honestly, I can't really think of the last book I read that had a love triangle in it. It's not really the sort of thing that happens in the sort of books I read. Um, but the one, the only one that I could think of is that when I was young, I always wanted Joe to end up with Laurie and him ending up with Amy kind of seemed like a weird cop out that she just took, threw them together at the end. Um, but now I know that Joe's ending up with Mr. Bear was actually kind of a fuck you to her publisher. Your main character needs to end up married by the end of the book. And she was like, okay, he's going to marry this random dude then. The idea of Joe ending up actually single or living with her best close female friend to whom she writes love letters and sleeps in the same bed as. And that seems much more sensible to me than her ending up with Laurie, who is a child in that half of the book. I actually think it's quite hard like I always I have thought about how the fact that a love triangle is, with straight people is not really a love triangle more like a, a love arrow head or a, a love swan formation you really need three queers for it to be a triangle triangle like this one doesn't exist in most love triangles. Number four is a popular genre you hardly reach for. Uh, most genre fiction is a popular genre I don't reach for. Uh, I read historical fiction, literary fiction, poetry, um, short story collections. I mostly steer care of thrillers, horror, YA, fantasy, sci-fi, pretty much all of it I don't read. I do you read like magical realism, fabulists type stuff and sort of like sci-fi realist like never let me go the time traveler's wife I will dip my toe into that sort of thing so I guess I don't entirely ignore fantasy and sci-fi but I'm just like only on the very periphery just on the literary periphery of these genres please horror I think I think horror is probably the one I'm most like apprehensive about dipping my toe into um I'm least likely to hear about horror and be like oh that's something I definitely want to read um or maybe some full-on sci-fi in space with like robots and uh, spaceships and uh, aliens and stuff maybe i wouldn't be entirely my jam um but there may be something coming up on this channel soon that is in relation to this hint hint um you'll have to subscribe to find out what that is number five is a popular character you don't like i mean snape severus snape but that's he's pretty much been uh fully cancelled at this point i would say um Maybe da da Daenerys Targaryen, like everyone's a bit like girl power, go her. Um, but she's definitely much more whiny and entitled. Like people bitch about Sansa being whiny and entitled and entitled when she's like a 12 year old girl being beaten by men in full sheet armor, full plate armor and um, being having to con constantly say that her family are terrible, horrible people in order to survive. Um, and everyone's like, yeah, but she cries. Danny doesn't cry, but she's always like, I deserve this. Um, so I find that annoying and her white saviorism also is annoying and the way that she's like um, she seems to like want to free slaves in order to just make them fight for her like she's like yes but now they're doing it out of free choice and like really um, I don't think that's how freedom works entirely it's kind of coercive so yeah maybe Daenerys Targaryen number six is a popular author you can't get into there are loads of authors that I don't fancy reading at all um, that are popular on booktube um, you can see my previous answer about genres people like Stephen King people like Stephen King for example I have no real interest in reading um, but I think this question really calls for a author that I have read but didn't get on with um, and the one that comes to mind that is popular on booktube is Taylor Jenkins Reid I've seen all over booktube uh, the seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo sorry the seven deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle they kind of get confused in my head and uh, Daisy Jones and the Six I read Evelyn Hugo and honestly I didn't really get what all the hype was about. 
like it was compulsively readable for the first two thirds at least i definitely felt like i could get through it quickly it was easy to read and i was interested even though the writing itself seemed kind of anachronistic to the time period and honestly a bit of a mess but the ending also made the whole framing device on which the whole novel was set seem to be really flimsy it just kind of knocked itself over and it really didn't make much sense that there were lots of coincidences that were really just seemed oddly helpful to move the plot along and didn't seem to make a lot of sense um, I just I felt quite shallow honestly and I can't really see myself picking up any other of her books um it wasn't the worst thing I've ever read or like horribly offensive or anything but um I could see the scaffolding I could see the strings and I never really want to be like aware of the author's um craft when I'm reading a novel number seven is a popular book trope you are sick of seeing uh and the one that sprung direct straight into my head was men who are overly protective of the female love interest this happened in the kiss quotient and the bride test and um the duchess deal series these men they just see something happen to this woman character and they feel this they it's all just ways described as this like instinct in their chest that they feel intensely um that they have to go out and protect her and save her etc etc um and i'm just like she's an adult unless she tells you she needs your help or she's like trapped under a car and quite obviously stuck um maybe let her deal with stuff on her own i would be so embarrassed if some dude was being creepy to me and my boyfriend tried to sort it out for me like unless i give you the signal let me deal with it and then when these these women are introduced to these men's family they just sort of dump her in it and fuck off they don't like smooth through that engagement when they are actually needed because they're the ones that are the bridge between this they have like no social skills or emotional intelligence but this weird medieval chivalry where they have to save people and it doesn't just happen in romance books either it happens in television and other books as well but those are the examples that sprung to mind a popular series you have no interested you have no interest in reading any YA fantasy book? <laughs> um, I tried to read one recently called Descendants of the Crane and after an hour of the audiobook I had to stop because it was so cringy to me. I actually made a whole video about 10 popular booktube books that I don't want to read, um, that I have no interest in ever reading. So um, if you want to see what the rest of them are you can check that out up there. Number nine and this is the final question. What movie or TV show do you prefer to the book? I mean the obvious answer is The Lord of the Rings um my dad read those books to me when i was about 10 or 12 and my god they are tedious he likes to go into so much detail about really boring things it kind of reminds me of the iliad where there's that where the second book of the iliad is just a list of ships and who's on the ship and whose son they are uh, tolkien will go into like reams of description about stuff that you're like is, and what bearing does this have on the plot oh nothing nice great um it's also just such a homosocial wank fest like he cannot write women to save his life um like at least in the first film they gave arwen some agency when she um like travels with frodo and stops the river and everything and in the books that's her brother who does that arwen is just the mopey sad person that she is in the second two movies um the only w and the only woman he gives any sort of active role at all is her personality is just she's basically a man and she's also kind of pathetically in love with aragorn um but i needed her for my macbeth moment so here is a woman he's like the michelangelo of writing women you're like we can tell you added the breasts afterwards mate so that was the last question i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope i haven't slandered your favorite book <laughs> it's all in good fun so if you love any of the books that i have mentioned above please let me know in the comments you can defend yourself to your heart's content and if you would like and if you would like to make this video then consider yourself tagged as well thank you for watching and remember to like this video if you liked it and please subscribe because i will be back tomorrow with another video Bye bye